The league season opened at Dens Park, where Motherwell took on Tony Doherty's newly promoted Dundee. I had spent a couple of nights previous in Oban with my family for a darts exhibition night, which was hosted by my friend Ross. This featured Alan Souter and Robert Thornton, with more content on the way. So today we've been joined by friend of the channel, Ross Tuff, <laughs> or Ross School Reviews, Ross School as, Reviews he, as, as he went by on his alias. So it's, been, it's been a long, long awaited time to go back on this channel, it's, it's, been, it's been a wee while, but good to see you anyway. Great it's, to it's see you, nice it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a while, hasn't it? Hasn't <laughs> it? A lot's happened, a lot's happened. So. It has, a lot has happened uh, since the past of the night days. You're a Dundee fan, I'm a Motherwell fan, we're playing each other tomorrow. <laughs> What's the score going to be? What's the score going to be? Uh, I haven't really thought about this. Um, mm. What do I want the score to be or what will the score be? I reckon it will be a one each draw tomorrow. Okay. I, I think there will be a lot of pressure on them tomorrow because we're obviously playing at home, first game of the season. We, I a massive, massive Tony Doherty fan. I think that's a really, really smart appointment by the club. Um, I think it's not your common run-of-the-mill manager where we've I mean, Ethan on um, the fans forum the other night mentioned how we tend to always go for either a really young manager or a really experienced. I think for the, the balance of the two, of Tony being a, an experienced number two with Kelly and St Johnston and Aberdeen, worked under some great managers. So I, I think it's a good appointment for the club. And I here, I'll be happy with 10th place this season. More than happy with it. As long as we avoid that drop again. I'll be more than happy, but I think it'll, I think it'll be one each tomorrow, um, and I think you guys will do okay this season as well. I, th I don't think you'll be top six, but no. I think you will be okay. I don't think you'll go down. I, I, I worry. I, yeah. I worry for St Johnston. I worry yeah. for Ross County. So, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Well, thank you very much, Ross. Thank you very much. Uh, TikTok. I got dropped off in Stirling on the way to the game and paid eleven pounds sixty for a single ticket on top of the £16 I paid for a student ticket for the match. This came to a total of £27.60. So right now we're just walking up the Hilton, there's about 20 minutes till kick off. Uh, it's been a bit of a hectic scramble to get from Oban to Dundee for today's game, but here we are. Nearly there, looking forward to it.
I really don't think we deserve that, but Theo Bears put us in front of this So we lead at the break, uh, very happy about that, but I mean defensively we've been shocking, our midfield is winning the battle in the middle, and the front two, I think Bears put himself about quite a lot, which I'm really happy about, Wilco's been pretty good as well, so so far so good, but there's not really much in the way of a match that's been going on, it's been a battle against the surface water on the pitch since there's a lot of rain here, before the game, but yeah, so far so good, 1-0.
this time, please. It's disappointing we didn't win, but I think a draw was a fair result. So it is Sunday, um, might as well just do my post-match now. I'm, at, I'm back in Edinburgh, uh, I'm actually just on my way home from work. It's like nearly 10 o'clock at night, uh, so this will be a late one. But uh, yeah, overall thoughts on the game, I thought Dundee deserved at least a point out of the game. Uh, we didn't deserve to win it, uh, Dundee had more better clear-cut chances than we did. Um, but I think over the piece, a draw might have been a fair result because we were, I think we were the better team in the second half, but in the first half it was mainly Dundee until we scored and then we sort of settled into our own rhythm. You know, it's a start of the season game, I'm, I'm just happy we're off the mark, like there's not as much pressure on us to actually uh, get a result next week because we managed to get a point this week, but it would be nice to go and... Uh, sucker punch Hibs because they got beat 3-2 today by St Mirren which was a turn up for the books but you know St Mirren looks set to have another good season but uh, yeah anyway um, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys later